Hey guys, Granite here, and today I'm showing you how I make my uh, Throusy, te Throusy text effect or logo effect, which a lot of people have been asking for. Um, so I'm going to use the era logo, and I've already got it set up here, and I've put my, uh, my material on. And here's my object. Um, so once you've got your object ready and all your uh, your materials on, you're going to probably want to put an under material so that when the uh, the text is cracked, the colour that you can see in the cracks, so uh, you're probably going to want a, a black for that really, it looks a bit better, it gives it a better effect. Or even a white, yeah I think I'll use white. So you just drag them onto here and then put them behind the orange one or whatever colour you're using. So uh, then you want to find your extrude nerves or your text, whichever you've got. Get all the layers selected, so press the first one, press shift and press the last one and it selects them all. Then you're going to want to go up to plugins, throusy, and I usually do 25 or 40, it depends, but today I'm going to use 25 and press break now. And as you can see it starts to, uh, to break it into pieces. I think, because there's three objects, just 25 pieces per object so the R is going to have 25 pieces on it, the A is going to have 25 pieces on it, the E is going to have 25 pieces on it. It shouldn't take too long to render now. Usually stops at 99%. Right, okay, so once it stops, you'll be able to tell because it'll tell you the time and also it'll be like this. So now I just want to press X on the frowsy window and if you click off it now, you can see that you've got something like a crumbled effect where you can see the uh, the lines already before you've even done anything. Um, that looks pretty nice if you don't want to have it smashed but you want to put like a kind of texture on it. But, uh, so yeah, that if you only want a nice texture on it, you should stop watching the tutorial now and render it out like that. But uh, if you want smash, then we can continue. Right. Um, you can see the timeline at the bottom here. Now you've got your play button there. Now watch what happens when you press play. It smashes but it also drops at the same time. So you don't want to smash it too much because otherwise you'll lose the effects of your Lightroom. So uh, if I was you, I'd press play and then stop at one frame or even two frames or three frames depending on uh, how smashed you want it. That's uh, three frame frames. There. Oh, and just so you know, guys, there isn't as many uh, white lines in it as they're shown here. Usually they're black, but there are some white ones for like here. This will probably be white because it's quite a big one. Maybe even there as well. And there. Right, I'm not going to bother rendering that. But uh, so yeah, I usually stop at one. If you don't like it though and you want to go back, you just drag it backwards to zero and it'll stop. Right, there's another method you can do now to stop it from smashing so much. Now, you take your three objects, wait no you don't know, create an extrude nerves by going over to this cube inside a cube thing, hold it and go over to extrude nerves and let, off, let go. So then now you want to, you've got this, this extrude nerves, so now you click your objects like you did before, first one, shift, last one, and then drag them until it shows a little down arrow, down arrow onto the extrude nerves and then let go and as you can see now they've been grouped into the extrude nerves so the next thing you want to do is go MoGraph Effector Random and that will create a random effect so you just drop that in now above everything else like, but still in the group so the top thing in the group and then you want to go down here to the uh, to the settings and go to Deformer so now you want to change the deformation to object but as you can see now it's just dropped down quite a bit so you want to go to parameter and these three here that are all on 50 you want to put them back to zero and it goes back to where it originally was next you want to click this box that's uh, next to the word scale over there click that and you'll bring up three settings and now if you move those around it starts smashing a bit as you can see so um the settings I usually use are minus point eight, point one, minus point two, and it gives you like this uh, this smashed effect, but not like 
down and just bit smashed it smashed it all so that you have like equal amounts of uh cracked text everywhere right um so next uh once it's rendered out I'll show you it rendered oh, I can't be bothered I have a group here with a random effector in and uh when I drop this group under the random effector and then go to random effector effector and change the strength oh wait no I've got to drag everything out I think yep when you drag everything out of the extrude nerves that was in the group so this stuff was all in the group before so you just drag everything from inside out next to the random effector and it gives you this amazing effect now if you go to the top random effect you got strength and uh, you can move that around and it'll give some nice ripples and stuff so if you want a tutorial on the ripples uh, just say so in the description and might do a tutorial on the ripples as well because it really blended with the frowsy it looks really nice and gives off a really nice effect which once you put your colour correction in on photoshop it can look really good so uh, next for your render settings you're probably going to want to put the output as 1920 by 1080 but I use these resolution 72 uh, current frame and then go to save put where your um, your desktop is so I'll put mine in now uh, text and then put, make sure the formats on PNG and the alpha channel is selected because that will let it as um, an editable layer in Photoshop instead of like with a background so you have to remove it and everything it'll just make it one piece the text so that you can just drag it onto your work uh, anti-aliasing you want best 2x2 two 4x4 two, four four, like I've got there and uh, I think that's it really so um, if you've enjoyed this tutorial please can you leave a like and a comment and uh, also please leave some um, future tutorial ideas in the comments and I'll get back to them and I will answer every single one because I don't really like it when people don't understand how to use stuff and it <coughs> other designers they don't show people how they do the work and how they make their effects and if it's a bit s not fair if you ask me because why would you show people what you can do if you don't want to share it with them so um, yeah this has been Granite uh, please like, comment, subscribe like I've already said and uh, I'm out